Emirates party workers to carry forward development agenda terms Grand Alliance of Operation Emirates. Manipur urges centre to exclude state from jurisdiction of citizenship bill. Seeks note to Manipur People's Protection Bill. Tripura government accepts demand for probe into January 8 firing. Neso says emergency like situation prevailing in the state. ISRO ready for launching its first manned mission to outer space to send astronauts into space for sp seven days. On third day in Khelo, India, girls from Manipur, Arunachal and Assam win gold, silver and bronze in different events. Good evening and welcome to Northeast News. This is Anupa. Now the news in details. In national news first, a two-day meeting of the BJP National Council began in Ramlila Maidan in New Delhi today. Inaugurating the meet, BJP President Amit Shah has called upon workers to gear up for upcoming Lok Sabha polls. Shah asks party workers to take government's development programs to voters and carry forward the development journey of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He asks them to expand BJP's footprints in the country. Shah termed the proposed Grand Alliance of Opposition Parties a mirage. He said it will not come in the way of BJP returning to power at the centre. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, his cabinet minister, Minister, BJP Chief Ministers, MPs and senior party leaders were among those present in the meet. Bangal ke andar hum satta ke andar aane ke liye aaj poorn tayyari kar kar bethe hain. Bihar tak pahunchi, Orissa tak pahunchi, Uttar Pradesh jit liya, Uttarakhand jit liya, Assam jit liya, Himachal jit liya. देश के 16 राज्यों के अंदर भारतीय जनता पार्टी की आज सरकार लेकर आई जब 14 के मैदान में गए छह राज्य थे और 19 के मैदान में जा रहे हैं 16 राज्यों की सरकारों की ताकत के साथ इसकी सेवा की ताकत के साथ आज मैदान में हम जा रहे हैं मैं Moving on to Northeast, the Manipur cabinet has urged the union government to exclude the state from the jurisdiction of citizenship amendment bill on Thursday. A cabinet meeting on the Bharatiya Janata Party led coalition government with Chief Minister Enbiren Singh in the chair also decided to urge the centre to give its assent to the Manipur People's Protection Bill 2018. Reviewing the present situation arising after passage of citizenship amendment bill in Lok Sabha, the Manipur cabinet also observed that the population of the state which has a large number of ethnic groups, each with unique dialects, customary laws and practices, is only about 0.2% of India. In Assam, a 12-hour state-wide ban called by the Coordination Committee of the Tribal Organization of Assam, a joint platform of various indigenous communities. In protest against the centers, move to grant scheduled tribe status to six communities, paralyzed normal in Borland region, including in Borland Territorial Council headquarter, Kokrajar. The ban, which began at the 5 in the morning, evoked total response with business establishments, markets and banks remaining closed. Vehicles remained off the road. Ban supporters burn tires in many places. The ban evoked response in parts of Morigaon district. Also, earlier the bond was called for 24 hours, which later reduced to 12 hours. In Tripura, in the wake of the growing demand for a high-level inquiry into the Madhabari fine incident that left six persons injured during a bun call by the NESO opposing the Citizenship Amendment Bill last Tuesday, the state government on Thursday ordered a magistrate-level probe into the incident. However, Indigenous People's Front of Tripura, IPFT, a coalition partner of the state government, has demanded a judicial inquiry into the incident. The Indigenous National Party of Tripura, INPT, another tribal-based party, has called a 12-hour strike in Tripura tribal area, autonomous district council area of the state tomorrow jara jara dushi jader dara ei prorochona diye kaaj sampurno kara hoyeche ebong polisher 
In Assam, All Assam Students Union Advisor Dr. Homojol Kumar Bhattacharya today visited several parts of the state and criticized police firing on citizenship bill protesters at Madhabari near Kumulwing in West Tripura on January 8, saying an emergency like situation is prevailing in the state. Dr. Bhattacharya, who's also the chief advisor of the Northeast Students Organization, NESO, told reporters at Agartla Press Club that the citizenship amendment bill is communal and the student body will continue its agitation against it. So I am repeating again that Tripura Student Federation is not alone. <coughs> the North East Student Organization, the seven states are behind Tripura Student Federation. The indigenous people is. In Assam, former Chief Minister Torun Gogoi today said that the BJP-led state appears to be under the mistaken impression that sedition charges against renowned lit intellectual Dr. Hiren Gohai and two others will weaken the ongoing movement against the Citizenship Amendment Bill. Talking to media in Guwahati, Gogoi also said that by imposing Section 144 of the IPC in the state, the BJP government has displayed its aggressive nature. The root of all evil lies in the bill itself. Sooner the government understands it, the better, he added. He contract but Tomane no, he Kokoloka the Mulkudi Loya is it. Etia Tanoka Zibla Kajokala Police Ziblaka the Nibono commercial. Back to national news, ISRO today said that it is well prepared to meet the targets of launching Gaganyan man mission to outer space by December to 2021. Addressing media in Bangalore today, ISRO chairman Dr. K. Shivan has said a human space center is set up for this mission. He said under Gaganyan project, India is planning to send three astronauts to outer space for seven days and bring them back. Speaking on other missions, the chairman said 332 launches are planned this year. Important among them are Chandrayaan 2 mission to moon in April, GS-8020 satellite for high bandwidth connectivity to be launched in September-October. Mr. Shivan said that the ISRO is conceiving a mission to Venus by 2023. The chairman said ISRO TV channel will be launched by another three, four months. Near south pole, that is around 74 degrees south of equator. And being this new place, we are expecting to have more and more signs. And the lander is going to land. Former CBI Director Alok Varma ousted by a high-powered committee after reinstating by Supreme Court today resigned from his job and asked the government to treat him deemed superannuated with effect on other hand, the Delhi High Court today refused to quash the first information report lodged against CBI Special Director Rakesh Asthana on bribery allegations. Justice Najmi Wazari also refused to quash the FIR lodged against CBI Deputy Superintendent Devinder Kumar and alleged middleman Manoj Prasad. The High Court directed the CBI to complete investigation in the case against Astana and others within 10 weeks. The High Court further said that allegation of malafide raised against then CBI Director Alok Verma is not made out. It also vacated its interim order granting protection to Astana against criminal proceedings. Union Cabinet has approved a proposal to re-promulgate the ordinance making instant triple talaq a criminal offence. The ordinance makes all declarations of instant triple talaq void and a practice of punishable offence with imprisonment of three years. In order to boost the healthcare infrastructure in the country, the Cabinet has approved the establishment of three more All India Institutes of Medical Sciences aims. The Cabinet also gave its note to reissue an ordinance to allow a committee to run the Medical Council of India. The Cabinet also approved the creation of the post of Vice-Chancellor for the National Rail and Transport Institute in Vadodara, Gujarat. In Meghalaya, the agency is involved in the rescue operations to save 15 trapped coal miners in East Jaintia Hills is finally making some progress. The Kirloshkar pump started functioning and water was pumped out from the man shaft on Thursday. So far, more than 28 lakh litres of water have been pumped out of the shaft. The Coal India Limited has also inserted one submersible pump into the shaft for pumping out of the water. As the rescue is on, the Indian Navy reported that they have conducted searches in six mines. The water level in the mine has gone down and rescue operations is continuing. In Manipur, Governor Dr. Najma Ahatullah on Thursday said that farmers, being the main stakeholders in agriculture, must be involved in all decision-making process. Dr. Ahatullah was speaking as the chief guest at the fourth convocation of Central Agricultural University held on its 
Iron Sembas campus. She said agriculture is the biggest private sector economic activity in the country. Hence, the public private partnership should be changed to public private producer partnership. <laughs> In sports news, on the third day of the spectacular sports event Khelo India, hosts Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh are in the quest for increasing their medal tally. Today, the gold medal tally is expected to go beyond 60 medals. In Khelo India youth games, Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh are on the winning spree of medals. In weightlifting, girls under 17 and 55 kg category, Srishti from Uttar Pradesh won gold medal. Anai Wangsu from Arunachal Pradesh won silver and Bibari Boro from Assam won bronze. In girls under 21 category, S. Bidyarani from Manipur backed gold medal, Gauri Pandey from Uttar Pradesh won silver, and Saloni Singh from Uttar Pradesh won bronze. In Arunachal Pradesh, Chief Minister Pema Khandu has inaugurated the 300-meter single-lane steel cable suspension bridge, India's longest. He also laid the foundation stone for a district secretary building. The bridge across the Siang River at Yingkyong in Upper Siang District has been named Biorang Bridge. Khandu said Biorang Bridge, built at a cost of 48 crore rupees provided by the Development of Northeastern Region Ministry, will reduce the distance from Yingkyong to Tuting by almost 40 kilometers. In Assam, a seminar on medicinal plants of Northeastern region and a bioseller meet were held at Netfi House, Guwahati today. Secretary, Ministry of Development of Northeastern region, Naveen Verma, was chief guest in the program. He advocated bridging the gap between cultivation and collection, primary processing, marketing, medicinal and aromatic produce in the region. And finally, Lieutenant General Rajiv Sirohi has taken over charge as the new General Officer commanding GOC of three corps. Ranga Pahar Army Cantonment at Dimapur in Nagaland from Lieutenant General Gopal R, who has been transferred to Army Headquarters in New Delhi, handed over the command of three corps to his successors on Thursday. The three corps cover whole of Nagaland, Mizoram, Tripura and Manipur and parts of Arunachal Pradesh and Assam. Now the weather report. Satellite imagery of the northeast shows that weather will be mainly dry of the region with isolated rain over Arunachal during the next 24 hours. The temperatures recorded today at some of the state capitals of the region are as follows. Guwahati recorded a maximum of 25.6 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius. Itanaga 26.3 and 10. Kohima 16.5 and 4.5. Imphal 23.1 and 3.9. Aizal 27.6 and 13.4. Agatla 25.8 and 9.1 Shillong 15.9 and 4.6 And Gangtok recorded a maximum of 13 degrees Celsius, a minimum of 6 degrees Celsius. Before winding up the headlines once again. BJP chiefs asked party workers to carry forward development agenda. Terms Grand Alliance of Opposition, Amiraj. Manipur urges Centre to exclude state from jurisdiction of citizenship bill. Seeks no to Manipur People's Protection Bill. Tripura government accepts demand for probe into January 8 fire Ignesso says emergency-like situation prevailing in the state. ISRO ready for launching its first manned mission to outer space to send astronauts into space for seven days. And on third day in Kelo, India, girls from Manipur, Arunachal and Assam win gold, silver and bronze in different events. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.